I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Historical Immersion Project. We are back as Duke Otto the Zealot. Uh, last time we left off, we uh, pressed a claim that we got from the Pope for the Duchy of Lorraine, I think it was. Yes. Um, I didn't even think about this, uh, but hopefully we don't have another son anytime soon. Um, because the thing is, we're not allowed to... Um, make kingdom titles so if we have another son our realm's gonna split so that's not gonna be good <laughs> um we have it to our they have it to where the um the emperor has it to where kingdom creation cannot be done by anybody um i'm hoping some way we can get them to change it i doubt there is um we do have a, um, he owes us a favor, so I don't know if we'll be able to start a vote on it or not. It is a crown ball, so these, more or less, are by the, the king, and you can't really do nothing about it. So, uh, there's nothing that we can do. The only good thing that would come from us getting the, uh, being crowned as the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire is we'll be able to change that. Uh, and then we can, you know, solidify our, our power here and centralize it. Because even if we become emperor, doesn't I mean we're going to keep it forever. We'll probably lose it right away because most people are going to want it over, you know, we have one, we have a kid who is 10. So more than likely, you know, unless... He comes out to be a decent adult, then they're not going to probably vote for him. Now, his son is nine years old. If he lives just a little more longer, probably he'll end up start getting more votes. Uh, he is delicate. I don't know if that really will, will matter much. Um, I wish I could get my kids uh, baptized, but I think you have to have kingdom or emperor tier uh, person for that to happen. Um, the good thing is, though, that this kid, well, he's not a kid really anymore. He is still 14, but uh, the one that has Dagsburg and Nor Norgal, 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 whatever, um, he actually, we've got a lot more plotters now that we've taken over that duchy. Um, there's a lot more people. We can buy some of these guys here. We're going to uh, join without having to um, bribe them, but there are a couple. I see one for 17 uh, percent. We might go for him in the 15. There's a 15 there. She'll be cheap, though. The other ones might cost a little more. Let's see. He's only 31, so that's not that bad. This guy is 25. Another one's really not that bad. Um, we'll see where, how it goes. Usually, if I get over 100, I don't put any more into it because I've had... 400% and even higher and it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it might make the plot go quicker, but it doesn't mean that it's got a better chance of it happening. Now, I'm hoping we get more uh, retinue cap because right now we only have uh, another 500 available. Um, I do want to start investing more money and um, I don't know where we can build uh, training grounds at right now. Let me see. Can we build one in our main one? Yeah, so the thing is too, I, I forgot that most of these all have um, a plus 20 retinue size, which is great. I love how they added that, because in, in the base game, unless you're an empire to your title, or you're a uh, pagan. I don't know if it's just pagan or like, um, like other the Vikings when you're still Germanic. You can have a big uh, retinue size. Thing is, is that you can't really afford the ones that cost money. You usually have to use the prestige ones that suck. Uh, we have a really good retinue special with the uh, the knight retinue, which we get 150 heavy cab and 100 light cab, which is. And the thing is, it's the cap use. The uh, cap usage is a little lower in this. So like our our special um, retinue is only 800, so it's only 200 more. And in the base game, the the cavalry retinue, I think, is 900, where in this one's only 600. So right now, we only have, I think we only have 500. Yeah, they're making their way back. We just got done that war. Um, I still want to kill this kid because I want, 
Even though, I mean, we can have four more holdings, but I do want to give my nephew uh, some land. Either him or his dad. I might just give it to him because our brother is our main um, chancellor. And if I give him land, he's probably going to become powerful. So I don't, I don't really want, you know, to, to switch him out for our brother-in-law. Even though our brother-in-law is better. Now, I'm going to have to take my um, nephew off of here because of the fact that we have two people. Well, three people locked up. Two of them from the war that we did and there are our vassals this guy here is um pretty good stewardship we might have to switch him out after we let him out he's not a powerful vassal but this guy is and he is a uh, pretty good marshal so we're gonna switch him out for La uh, lando out for him after we let them out of uh prison so let's go ahead and do that now we'll get 70 for each which is good um Werner is staying in jail. He's my rival. He's caused too much trouble already. He had, got us locked up, which could have been bad, but we got away with that one. Um, we can make some duchies, which we're not going to do. It's kind of uh, counterproductive right now, uh, especially if we have another son. Um, it seems that somebody's trying to kill us. I think it's still Beatrice. Yeah, she is uh, the countess over this dude here, or his wife. So... Alone, she can't really do anything. Um, maybe she'll stop now. We got more power now. All right. Is there anything else new we can do? We're still going for the Swiss Confederation. We did get a uh, Reinfeld claim last time, so we do have a claim on that. We're going for Gruyere now, and I think after that we'll probably try to get Basel. Now we have all this power. Uh, we're, I'm gonna wait until we can get the ones we need to go to war with him. We're only 33, so we got some time. If we can get that one pretty uh, soon, then we can move over maybe to the Basel or Neuchatel. One of the two. I think that one's probably better. That one's actually better. But we need those two for the Swiss. And then we need another one just because we need to um, usurp uh, the Duchy of Zaringian from him to make the Swiss Confederation. Um, I, I'm really... I really want to see what that does when we make it. But uh, right now, we do have three claims. We have a claim with Poland, one of our courtiers. Um, hoping maybe we can get somebody to marry her so we just pass that claim down. Um, we do have a vassal that has uh, a claim on Cleves. So this guy has almost 3,000. He has an ally with, uh, I think that's Provence. That was a decent amount of men. So we could maybe go for that. Cleves, I think, is uh, part of one of the duchies. Or part of this land that we have up here. Because I know the, the Emperor wants this uh, county under him. Uh, everybody in this duchy has a piece of land that's supposed to belong to him. Because he has uh, the duchy of Julique. Julique, I don't know how you say it. But besides that, we're good. I do want to move my Spymaster back to studying technology, I think. For right now, I think we'll be okay. I don't know if I should put him in... Biz yeah, see, friggin' uh, Constantinople gets sickness way too much. I guess we'll put him in Toledo. So that way we, we need to build up our tech. Um, we got him where he needs to be. I think we're going to put our court chaplain back to uh, research and cultural tech. I don't think we have any other... Uh, what is this? He's not under us, so we don't have to worry about that. And neither is he. Right now, it's Lollard. It might spread. But as of right now, we're okay. I don't think anything else up here that's ours we have to worry about. Yeah. So we're good right now. I'll just have him do um, research cultural tech. Uh, right now, we're in a weird position where we have the Pope, but we also have this anti-Pope. Um, I thought about blessing him with luck just to see what would happen. But I'm going to leave the whole blessing of luck alone for now. Let's go ahead and, um, what do we need to do? Oh, I do want to get a, um, another commander. Because right now we have a sh one shit commander I want to get rid of. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll go there. Um, I think it was a guy I already had saved to get. Maybe this is him. Yeah. I have to pay for him, though. He won't call him right now. A little paper and they'll come to court. Alright. So now we're good on the commander tip. Now, there is a, um, a 
a rebellion going on for uh, independence. So these guys are here, Milan, um, what is this one, S Saluzzo, and over here in, um, <clears throat> what the hell is it called, Corsica. I don't know if he has a Dutch, you know. So yeah, they're going for independence, they have a lot more men than the Emperor does. About double, a little more than double. And he's in a war uh, with Croatia uh, over a papal war. Croatia went against them. He probably needs to be crowned, doesn't he? Well, well the Pope wants him to take back Ferreira for him. It's not going to happen, though. Then again, I don't know. If he's more focused on this other war, it might. Uh, we're waiting for those guys to get ransomed so we can get their money. He's built up a lot of money. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um do this. Let me see if did I get any more retinue? No. I thought maybe after I um pulls it might have went up some. So I do want to get this up to six at least. But right now we can't really do anything about that. Since we get plus twenty and everything, I'm thinking might as well do something else. Uh except for jousting list we don't. Oh yeah, we do actually. Um Castle Town doesn't. So if we get stables, we get plus 55, but we lose a little bit of tax. Uh, I think barracks probably, because they give you more men. 55, actually they're exactly the same. Keep, we get plus 20. That's going to be 285. So I think we'll do, I like getting up to keep, because usually you get more out of that over time. Because right now it's 10%, it'll go all the way up to 30%. We'll do that one first. Alright. Now we have money to spend. Uh, we get our men up, and we'll have like 6,000 men a little over. So, that's going to be good. I received a letter from my fellow member of Benedictine Order. Dear Brother Otto, will you, as a Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry or the attempt of it. Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses, all in honor of God. Yeah, whatever. Uh, here goes that guy. So let's go ahead and make you a commander. We're gonna take out Heinrich here. Uh, well, we actually had that guy too. I didn't even realize. Um, maybe we'll use him right now, just because it'll give us more opinion with him. Now, we do have this guy here. He's the one I think. Did I just make him a commander? Damn it! It didn't show that he was the thing. Usually I. Would just look for the little glove. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make you a council member just because. Um, the other guy, we don't really need to. I think we'll just wait. Because I'm hopefully going to get this land soon. How is the plot power looking on this? 147. So there's really no need to get her. We'll wait a little bit and see what happens. Uh, how much do I get out of my spy master if I to put him there? Only 9%. It's not really worth it. Uh, the game's going, been going good the past couple times I've played it, so that's nice. He wants it to be a commander, which isn't happening. We're an advisor, though. It's a good council position to have because you don't have to worry about getting killed doing shit. Um, for some reason, we're king of, Ro of the Romans. Does anybody know why that is? Like, is that um, a minor title? Kind of like Caesar in the Benedictine, or Benedictine, the uh, Byzantine Empire. I was wondering why we yeah, are King of Romans. Uh, um, yeah, I do not want to be commander. <laughs> not at all. He really loves us right now because we've gotten so many of his wars. We're not going to cheese his opinion anymore. Not right now. It's so high anyways. Um, it was beginning to, I was beginning to think that Ulrich took offense to my comments, but today I've received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, brother, bear with me. It is not finished. So, we will go ahead and go with his uh, wishes. It, I mean, it's pretty good, though. You get, for 10 years, you can get plus one diplomacy for 55 gold. He gets pissed, but we don't really need it. I mean, it's not that big of a, a deal, so we'll go with what he wants. Um, we do need to donate to charity, so I think we'll go ahead and do that here in a minute. Uh, as no doubt we'll know, I and those of your vassals who are part of my faction are loyal subjects. To show our devotion, we decide to host a grand banquet in Cabre, Cabre in order or in honor of your rule. So we get some burger tax. So prosperity faction supports us. 
I do love the the extra faction and shit. There's only two people in it though. <laughs> but hey, if you're gonna, like, I think the tradition fact uh, faction is the one that likes me the most. They're all about pretty much a hundred. Um, there's one guy in the glory faction, the court faction, and it, this guy's going for independence. He is a powerful vassal, but he's not really good at anything. It'd be great if I could make him a court chaplain, but it's not possible. Alright, well, whatever. I am flattered to think uh, that you think the Benedictine Order could benefit from my work. Uh, writes in his letter. Thank you for your support, brother. He continues before assuring me that the fishing touches he intends to see to before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. So I got a budding friendship. Do we have any uh, ambition right now? Increase? Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, if this happens. Well, we've been over 100 before and it hasn't gone off. I don't know why this kid can't get killed. Um, his he is married now, so he can have children. We need to hope he doesn't. King Ugo Sardinia has created the Kingdom of Sardinia. Hold on. How did he do that? How, if he's in the Empire, how was he able to, to make that? Hold on a second. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so... And none of these must be true. Has Imperial Kingdom creation disallowed? So how how did he make that? <laughs> I don't understand how he did that. What about um something up here where we have uh, Upper Lorraine? Yeah, so we have enough to do this one, so and we can't do it. So I don't know how he just did that. <laughs> we have everything we need to make this uh, kingdom, and we can't do it. So how the hell did he make that? He was part of the Empire the whole time. It wasn't like he just came into it. So I don't know how the hell he did that. Huh. That's odd. I don't know. Does it only go for the player or what? Uh, these guys, I think I have them set lower. Yeah, we can put them back up now that we're making decent money. Alright, um... Who needs to be arrested? What are you trying to do? You're trying to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Lorraine. I don't think, uh... You're going to get anywhere with that, more than likely. She wants to kill me. He's trying to fabricate a claim. And he won't stop. Uh, he wants a lot of money. Maybe we can sway him. Are we swaying anybody? No. Let's try to sway him to chill the fuck out. Alright. And then we have her who is trying to kill Werner, my brother. Why is she trying to do that? I don't know. She is our court tier. She's gonna stop, so we can't arrest her anyways. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the donation here. A young talented artist from Arguile proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Duke Radbad of Varisha. I seen uh, a thing on this. I was watching a couple days ago where um, it's called Ra Raisha instead of like Ratia or whatever and uh, 24 gold, yeah, we'll do it. Now, the, the, the Swiss Confederation actually was made to push the Habsburgs out because they didn't want uh, a ruler over top of them. So it's kind of weird for them to make, for us to make the Swiss Confederation because it was like made in order to uh, get this like confederation of people to not have these Habsburgs trying to uh, tell them what to do. It's kind of funny. Um... I'm pleased to hear that after a period of shrewd, peace and shrewd management, the county of Bagua is doing very well. People are happy, and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. So that's great. We actually... Are we just prospering right now? Yes. We're prospering. All right. Prince Bishop Deitmar sent me a long letter detailing all the repulsive and horrifying ways he punishes his enemies, <laughs> telling me it could help me learn to deal with my own detractors. Prince Bishop... Thightmar apparently thinks his gruesome gift will make me like him more. Uh, thanks, I guess. Yeah, um, this is horrible. He's crazy. <laughs> a little bit distasteful. Alright, I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners. We don't have cruelty. They're at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see panic in their eyes. 
Yeah, we will resist it. Um, I don't want to kill him. I just want him in, not to be a pain in my ass. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything good that we can go for? I mean, we could go for Cleaves here. He doesn't have the uh, alliance now with that guy. I guess his dad, whoever was the holder of this, died, I think. Hmm. Who was it before him? Yeah, he just died. How's he related to him? I mean, they're at the same house, but they're not directly. I think that guy here, they had the same grandfather. All right. So, if we get Cleves, Cleves is not bad. He's actually locked up by the Duke of Saxony. Is he on the council? No. How does the Emperor feel about him? He doesn't really like him. Uh, he has control of two things. Now, if we take this, uh, it'll give us another minus 25 with the Emperor. We already have one. I thought about just giving it to him. giving it, Letting him have control of it, but this one here. But as long as it's not too heavy, and he doesn't want like to, to put us in jail over it, then I'm just going to keep it. These guys are still refilling. It takes a long, lot more time in HIP for some reason. Further levies to fill back up. He's the one in court faction. I'm not really worried about him. Or really an independence guy. Alright, my marshal has discovered a man of military talent called Gottfried. He's willing to serve our ranks. He's pretty good. Nice. 22 marshal. What are we, how are we looking? Um, I think Gearheart's been pretty good for us. I'm trying to see. Should I switch him out? Because he's got a flat terrain expert. Which, we're like mostly the mountains. I mean, Lando is probably a little better. Lando, they had the same uh, thing here. They're both formidable fighters. Lando seems to be just a little bit better. We'll put Lando back, just because Lando's been, um, with us for a while. Why did I even get... Hold on. I didn't make him a commander. Hmm. We'll just put Lando in there. Alright, I wonder if Count Godfrey would appreciate learning more about the benefits of hard work from me. I, I cannot think of anything else right now that would help him like me more. So... Mm, we get a chance of getting charitable. Yeah, I doubt it'll happen. Let's just, uh, oh shit, I forgot all about, um, hold on, what happened? Vatican outrage. Letters have been sent out to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded to stop to the beautification of sinful people and revoke the rights from the rest of the clergy to do so. From now on, the granting of beautification will be given out by the Pope personally. The Vatican will no longer stand for more shameful examples like the wrongful beautification of Olaf in its name. Now only the truly pious followers of Christ will be granted reverence of the faith. So, somebody blessed this, or beautified this guy. It looks like he died of some kind of disease. He's a drunk, <laughs> envious, lustful. Yeah, he doesn't seem the best person to get beautification, but I oh will. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and um, donate to charity. And we've been given 200 devotion. We only need... Oh, we need 2,000. Jesus. I think we've only been communists for uh, two years. So we still had a year. We can teach virtue, though. So, what can I give? I end up giving him chase or home. Yeah, that's not worth <laughs> using. Alright. This kid needs to die. Like, I don't understand... Out of all the time I've had this kid over a hundred, I've not once had it fire. And it's starting to piss me off. Let's just get her into the plot. Maybe it'll uh, give it a little kick. Count Godfrey answered my letter, admitting that he was much has much to learn from me and has really appreciated me taking some time off my duties as Duke in order to teach him something about statesmanship. You better, yeah, asshole. Now, come out of the independence. Oh, this guy jumped in. So, that's good. Alright. Um, Arnold the Careless has declared French Revolt War for Henri's claim on France 
Oh, King Henri the Terrible. Oh, what? Who's clean? There's another Henri who has a claim. So I guess it's of uh, Bourguignon. They're from the Burgundian family here. Seems to be the only Henri. I guess it's him. So we might see a uh, change here. He's got 5,000 men, about double the amount of France. Pretty much split France right in half. All right, my wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the role of St. Benedict. Since I've joined the Benedictine order, I have practiced charity. Yet it is not until today I realized I was truly glad to let go of my personal possessions, helping those in need and truly fulfilling. Nice. So we get charitable, it gives us plus two diplomacy, but we do get minus five. Uh, the men's tax modifier, which kind of sucks, but we get a little boost to piety. We're actually, I think we're making more piety than we do prestige. We're actually pretty even. Well, there goes another uh, virtue we can teach our son. Now, teaching him charitable would be worth it, but the thing is, you have a 33.3% chance of one of those, so it's not guaranteed he will get charitable. I think we might wait till he becomes an adult, so that way... Wow, he's already a train fighter. That's good. He's got so many child traits. I didn't think they usually got that many of them. So he's got three. Hopefully they have a genius kid. That would be lovely. I hope that if we have a kid, it is a daughter. I mean, we do have other uh, men in our family. Like, I have my brother, and then he has three boys of his own. So, we're not in any shortage of men in the family. Uh, Bertholdt is 16 now. He only became a tough soldier, but... He is a formidable fighter, that's great. 18 Marshall. It's not bad, not bad air for his father. Um, so that's good. A holy man came to court today to talk about matters of the faith, but it soon became clear that he held a rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison a blasphemous pagan who dared criticize my faith and my church. Deus Vault. So, Vicenza will react to the way we deal with things. This is our sister. She oh, she joined the uh, Dominican order. Uh, I was still shaking with rage at the pagan's blasphemous words when Chenzo took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. Thank you, I really needed that. So we gained a little more um, of an opinion from our sister. Who is this now? It's still Godfrey. Um, He wants to end his claim now. So, we're going to make him end it. Uh, dear son-in-law, peace be with you. Request the honor or obligation. Now, we are going to help uh, our father-in-law here. Because we do have the manpower now. We have a little bit of income coming in. So, we won't be completely broke. Um, we are losing a little bit of money now due to the Emperor's War. We are paying for our retinue upkeep. <clears throat> we're probably going to... I'm going to leave behind the retinue. Actually, we're gonna um, put it back down to medium reinforcement um, So that we're We'll half the money it's taking and then we're gonna raise our troops and go over and help him um, We'll raise all the vassals and the uh, Our men go over and help him keep his crown because it benefits us. I Think his daughter should get a claim after he dies and then hopefully uh, our son will eventually get that claim and then maybe put him on uh, the France throne. I do want to try to put another uh, thing I want to do with the series is try to put as many uh, Habsburgs on other thrones. Not under our control, per se, but um, have them like, you know, king over here, king over there. They're just, you know, how they did in real life. Pretty much putting Habsburgs all over the world. <laughs> um, and then when we start to get more Habsburgs, we'll start doing the uh, incest, is one incest thing gone. So, hold on, we have something in Treasury? I don't even remember getting this finger bone. I got it th two years ago, so I'm, I had to get it last time. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and accept. And uh, we'll probably go ahead and stop here. I'm going to raise my men. Let me see. Is there anybody? Everybody loves us. I mean, completely loves us. I don't know why they love us so much. Um, Crush Major Revolt. I think it's all due to our pious, piousness and zealotry that we have. We, 
Uh, we are ambitious, but we're brave, humble, a little bit wroth, I guess. We'll probably lose that being in the Benedictine order, but charitable, zealous. Um, we are a trained diplomat. Doesn't really give us any extra, though, in vassal opinion. Um, so I don't know why we're getting so much, uh, opinion of vassals. Maybe they're looking at us and thinking, maybe he's a little powerful, maybe we shouldn't screw with him. Now we are, like, the out front front runner of getting the emperorship. So, more than likely we're gonna get it, unless something really crazy happens. Uh, let's go ahead and raise up everybody. We're gonna take... I'm gonna leave behind the retinue. So, let's actually like remove them, just so I don't have to get them in the way. Um, we're gonna take all you guys up here. We'll come there and meet up. Um, you guys go there. Actually, let's, um, put these guys together that way. Hold on. Put these together so the, uh, morale doesn't affect the time it takes for them to get there. Get you guys up here. And then, uh... What the hell happened to my right now? Oh, I accidentally put them together, damn it. You guys go that way. You guys stay where you're at. Okay, that makes sense now. Alright, yeah, you guys stay put. Everybody else, get the hell where you gotta go. Let's take you uh, off. Even though you got really good marshal. We are gonna put him in there, but not up there. We'll wait till everybody gets together and then... He's going to need our help. And I'm all about helping my allies if I can. I'm not going to just sit there and say the hell with it because I don't have to. Alright. Um, I guess I'll put Kuno in the middle since he just is alright. Probably the best we have and he's direct leader. Um, we will go on the other side. And then we will have... We don't need a Holy Warrior. We'll probably have Gerard. Vratislav. Your heart has got a lot of modifiers. He probably the best one. The Holy Warrior one. But, yeah, we'll, we'll put Gizzlebert. <laughs> Gizzlebert. Gizzlebert. However you say his fucking name. As you no doubt will know, I and those of your vassals are part of my faction are little subjects. To show our devotion, we decide to host a grand banquet and psalm in honor of your rule. So we gain some, uh... Prestige, 50 prestige. All these factions are really devoted to us. Um, tribes of boats have been converted to Orthodox faith. A group of priests sent by Grand Duke of Kevin Rus have performed a great ritual, during which they have converted the entire population of Bolts alongside High Chief Volt to the third, many of his vassals. With this act, the people of Volts have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. So Grand Duke Vladimir the Butcher of the Rubikovich dynasty. He's pretty good. A little fat, but... A little fat don't matter. Alright. Everybody gets together. We'll go over and pro... Oh, man. You're supposed to wait. Oh, that ended very badly. <laughs> I think you captured him. They had to capture him because that war had just started. <laughs> oh, my God. That sucks. That sucks really bad for France. Hmm. So, let me see. So, does... Her father will have a claim. Is there, like, a way we can push that claim? I mean, as long as they get, um... No, oh, no, 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 no. As long as they get, uh... The claims passed down and shit. I'm alright with it. But... That really sucks. Hold on, where are they at? Oh, uh, I didn't even see those guys. Okay, so there goes that war. He still wants me to be a commander. We're not doing it. All right, we'll go ahead and stop here. Uh, I'm really hoping we get these goddamn claims sometime soon. I mean, I don't. I know as soon as I try to go with the Rheinfelden, I must have a valid. Oh, I didn't hit it. Um, I know as soon as I go with the Rheinfelden. I'll get a claim on the other one. I just know it. That's how it always happens. I'm wondering if I should replace my brother. I mean, he's not a powerful vassal anymore. But, I would get a lot more of a claim percentage 
out of Ulrich here. That's the main reason why it would probably be better if I could give him some land, but this kid does not want to die. His wife's still not pregnant, so that's good. But we have to get a cl uh, something going on him. It's starting to get ridiculous. So yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, next time we come back, we will hopefully <laughs> at least get one event pop on this kid so we can kill him and take his land from him. So, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.